Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Debra and welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm going to be upcycling this beautiful but very old stool with storage compartment. It's looking pretty sad, a little bit dirty. Okay, a lot dirty. The seat material's obviously been recovered at some point, but we are going to replace it with something much, much nicer and clean, definitely cleaner. So I'm gonna get started by removing the seat cover. I think the original looks like it might have been leather. It is absolutely filthy. This is disgusting. Look at that dust, yuck. Not to fear, nothing that can't be fixed with a spray and a vigorous clean. So next I removed the old nails. I just used the end of a hammer for this, you know, and clawed them out as best I could. I decided that the best way to tackle this project would be to give it a coat of chalk paint in the colour chalk white. So chalk paint is really good because you don't have any prep work beforehand. There's no sanding or any of that jazz. Just paint directly onto your furniture and it's all good. Job done. <laughs> to have a nice clean canvas to start with, I decided to give the stool two coats of the chalk paint. So now we've got our base of chalk paint, a nice clean slate to start with. We're now going to proceed by putting all of the colours on it because garish clashing colours are my favourite. Yep. I like all the colours and gold. So I had these paints from a previous project. I used these same colours on a chest of drawers I did. If you'd like to see that video, I shall leave a link up here and in the description box below. Anyway, I had these six random colours to use up. So I took a relatively small brush and then just methodically went through all the colours one by one, painting randomly all over the stool, inside and outside, and just kept painting random splodges of these colours all over until none of the white chalk paint was showing anymore. Once that had dried, I poured out each colour onto a tray and then using a bit of sea sponge, I just dabbed that over the paint wherever I wanted to, just to start blurring the edges a little bit so you couldn't see that brush strokes or brush marks on the paint. And then I just kept painting, going back and forth between the different colours until I was kind of happy with this blotchy splotchy rainbow beautifulness. So after that I dried, I gave the stool a coat of finishing wax just to seal in the paint. And then, hunting through my craft room cupboard, I came across this glitter varnish. So if there was ever a time to use a rainbow glitter finishing thing, it's probably now. So I gave the stool a coat of glitter varnish as well. Why not? Well, I like glitter, so it's my stool. It's not like I'm selling this or anything. It's just gonna sit in my home, so. And waste not on that. I don't know how long this glitter varnish has been sat there. Forever and a day, since 19 oat cake, who knows? Best use it up. So after all that was dry, I thought it was time to do a bit of detail work because this stool is going to live in my craft room and it'll go with the decor if it's got gold on it, surely. So of course, as always, I used Aaron Bright's Antique Gold and some small detail paint brushes. So this was really fiddly and tedious, painting on these detailed bits. But I think when you see it all later, it'll be, it's totally worth it, totally worth it. Yes, yeah, so using very small detailed brushes, I just carefully painted select areas around the stool with the gold and yes I did need two coats of the gold because it wasn't fully opaque on the first application I could still see some of the like colours shining through so yeah I did need two applications of the gold but it was worth it definitely worth it so now all the paint and varnish is dry inside and out it is now time to recover the seat well at least I'm going to try to recover the seat so I've got this leftover gold crushed velvet material. I think I'd used this on the seat covers for my dining room and this is all I've got left. So I'm hoping it might be just big enough for this project. We shall see. So my plan is to cut this material to about the same size as the seat with an inch extra material around the edges for seam allowance. I might need a pair of scissors. Hold on. Okay, so we've got our stool material. So the one thing I've learned over time with old pieces of furniture is that the wood gets harder and harder with time, which means it's really hard to get a nail or a screw or to use a staple gun on. So I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. The idea is I'm going to take my material and tuck it under by about an inch. 
Or will I do this edge first? There's a bit of a ridge here where the old stool material starts and stops with the wood. I think I'm going to have to try and knock nails into the wood, not this. And to tack it in place, I've got this decorative tack stuff. We've got four sort of decorative bits and then one where a nail will go in and that just repeats. These stud strips were from eBay in the colour brass. I will put a link to it in the description box below if I can find a link. And we've got some tacks. Oh yeah. And a hammer. Try and line it up so it'll end at the right place. And take a little tack and push that in there where the material is. <gasps> it works! Oh yes, I think that's going to hold the material really well. Just got to do that a few more times. I'm really surprised they are going into this wood. Surprised and delighted. All at the same time. I could just hold that. I wonder if that would work. Yes! Okay, that's the way to do it then. Hold the nails with a pair of pliers. Put them in position. Oh, tiny bit squint, never mind. I'm going to leave the end one for the moment. So I'm going to do the other side and I'll be right back. We have one edge attached. Hurrah! I am now going to do the same with the sides. So I'm going to cut a wee bit off this corner so it fits a little bit easier. Tuck this under. I'm going to use another end that starts with a loop so I can hammer them down together. I'm now working on the other side. Making sure the material's in place. Putting the decorative wire thing in place. Put my tack in place. Grab a pair of pliers. Then hold the tack with the pliers and then hammer it in. Take away your pliers, finish hammering. That seems to be working pretty well. It's bloody fiddly though. This is the first time I've worked with this stuff, so I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. But that's half the fun, isn't it? Just whether it has to be perfect. Nothing else in this house is perfect. So I've got these three edges done. Right enough, they're a little bit rickety. Let's not mind about that. I've not stuck down these edges either, and I've not stuck down this edge. Because I want to stuff this so it looks more like a seat. I've got some leftover scraps of material. I thought I could use up. I'm going to push these in here. Again, waste not, want not. That looks very lumpy, doesn't it? I thought this bit would go slightly smoother, if I'm honest. I didn't see this being the bit that was going to give me grief. It's a tiny bit lumpy, okay? I'm sure it'll even itself out. It probably won't, it'll probably end up being really lumpy, but I will know that I tried my best. So, tuck the last of that material in there. I'm now going to try and tuck this edge under. That's kind of a vague idea of where I want to nail it down, so... Let's give it a try, shall we? I really need that loop to be first. I'm going to cut off this end a bit. There we go. Match up these edges. Right, here we go. Yes! Now I'm going to have to try and work my way along. <laughs> yes. Doing the same thing. That one's a little bit squint. Never mind. These edges are definitely the hardest. This corner is a toad. <laughs> Disaster. I think we're just going to cut off both of these edges. Here we go. Pop these down. I'm just going to use tack by itself. It's going to be slightly squint, no doubt. And now for a montage. <laughs> so you can see the stool in a little bit more detail and close up. I'm not sure if you want to see the detail, it's a bit rough. <laughs> the perfect stool that I plan to keep all my sewing materials in or at least some of them and the patterns and things I'm using because someone is trying to learn how to work the sewing machine properly it's not going very well but I'm trying if you've enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment share and subscribe of course subscribing is optional but it is very much appreciated so thank you all so much for watching I'll see you guys next time bye